Right, hi. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do today for my blog because basically I'm working hard on things that I can't show you for the uh, pockets class. And I will be able to show you eventually, but at the minute there's lots of things in progress that just can't be seen really yet. So I've, this little book, sometimes if I've got nothing to do, which, well, not if I've got nothing to do, but if I want to, just a change, it's a tiny little book and I didn't make the book, I bought it. Um, I just do, it's really, really little. I, I don't know how big it is. Let me see, I think I've got a tape measure somewhere. Where is that tape measure? Here. It really is tiny. Um, three inches by four inches, okay. Um, so I just like spend 10 minutes putting scraps of paper in it or little bits of cloth and doodling on the page as well. I like some pages more than others. Uh, this one I don't like very much. It's a bit, I don't know, just don't really do much for me. Um, but I think that's the only one actually. So what I thought I'd do today is just add a little bit of something in here um, and do a bit of doodling. So I'm gonna get a bit of lace cloth um, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. This is some that I made and I use it. I cut bits from it when I need it, when I need it for something. And I'm looking, this is quite a nice area. Now I don't want really straight lines. I'm not really into straight lines. I like it to look organic because it is quite a, a big, uh, sorry. It is quite a organic cloth. It's, you know, there's nothing set in stone about it in terms of lines and placement, etc. So I could put that here, maybe, and then doodle around it. What do you think? I mean, I might make a pig's ear of this. I don't know. We'll see how we go on. If I make a pig's ear of it, you're still going to see it because I've got nothing else to show you. So I'll just cut some cotton abroad and thread myself a sharp needle. Oh, I've already got some here. Already threaded, so I'll use this first. Um, just put a knot in the end of this. Now the back of the pages, when you're stitching on a page, that's the back of this page, French knots. I love the back, I think, just as much as the front, because you get really unexpected patterns, don't you, and really unexpected surfaces going on there. So I don't stress about the back. Um, I quite like the back. I like how that evolves on its own without any thought or consideration, because basically you can't see what's happening at the back, can you? So I might actually put it like that. Make sure I've only got one page. I made some books like this to sell. Uh, it's a while ago now. And I bought the books and I told the person who I bought the books off, who's somebody in blog world, that I was going to embroider in them and then sell them. And was that okay with her? She said it was fine. I know her actually, I've met her a couple of times. Well, no, actually, I've, no, I've met her. No, I've met her once. But, you know, we're in contact. I'm not going to cut these off. I'm going to drag it across the back. And like I say, just French knots. Um, like I say, it'll create a pattern all of its own on the back, won't it? Depending on where I put these knots. And then I might put some knots on the page, snuggling up to this. But these are just a textured way of adding this to this piece. I would never, ever, ever glue anything in here. Um may occasionally, if I'm putting paper in, I may use double-sided tape, but I'm quite glue-averse. I've got a, I haven't even got a love-hate relationship with glue, I've got a hate relationship with glue in terms of embroidery and cloth and things. So that's the last one to attach it. So I'll use that bit of thread that I cut to do some snuggling up to the edge of it. I'll just go to the back. See, look at the back. I mean, it's a lovely shape all on its own, isn't it? Fasten that off. And change my thread. Put some more thread in my needle. And the fuller these little books get, the harder they get to shut, which doesn't bother me. Um, I've got books that won't close over at all, that are permanently like that, because they won't close. Because there's so much in them, in terms of, like, fabric and stitch etc and now I can't thread my needle so it's a really funny day today it's like rain sunshine in a bit but it's pouring down weird day weird right and I'll put a knot in this again
Right, and just maybe snuggle some up here at the edge. I'm going to make my hole first because I don't want to be stabbing through from the back blindly. Oops. And then I might just actually put some black dots on here. That might extend it, might not. Might make it look quite good. In fact, what I might do is do some French knots across the page as well. Um, so say I have one there. Like that. Have another one there. And it's very quick, isn't it? I mean, it's only a tiny page, don't get me wrong. Um, if it was a massive A2 book, I'd be struggling. I'd have the, the uh, dreaded white page syndrome, wouldn't I? Not wanting to tackle the first white page. Oh, see, now I've got a knot, which with a French knot is a terrible thing to happen. And it would happen on camera, and I probably, there it is, might be able to get that out. Somehow, knots, when you're doing French knots, are an absolute hideous encounter. Go up to here and do that one. So I've kind of scattered them with plenty of space to add doodles there. Because I want to add doodles, I've got a hankering to doodle. So, this will be my last one. One, two, three. Put that down. There. And turn it to the back. I mean, we're doing some really exciting, well, I'm excited about it in class. Everybody else might be asleep. But I'm excited about what's happening over there. So, and I will promise I'll just put this through there then the, the end won't trail out from the top of the page. Um, I will show you as soon as I can. Promise. Promise, promise, promise. Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. Right, so that's that with the French knots. Very simple. So let's add some little dots around here just to extend that pattern. It's like a cloud with rain, an upside down cloud. It could look like it was raining that way, couldn't it? But it's this way. But it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter that it doesn't mean anything. It's just a, almost like a warming up exercise for the brain and for the fingers. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's like five minutes or however long this video is of playtime. And why not? So there, and that's it, simple. But I do think it's really quite effective. And um, I like that. So that will not be on the list of pages I don't like, like the other one that I showed you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.